<laughs> hey everyone, welcome in. Since there are so many of you, let's start off with the chat. Hi Phil, Bran, thank you Phoebe for the raid. Jabo. How are y'all doing? I'm sorry, I'm almost an hour late today. That's my bad. Let's redo the shout out since it doesn't show on the starting screen, Bran. We'll shout you out again. And I also shout out Phoebe and Phil. This is a very <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? I'm having oh you can't see it right now. But this is a seesaw one. Hey, listen! Oh shit! Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Thanks, Jubo. <Jimbo. laughs> My dog farted. It's really stink. Pro, you're such a pro, Jubo. Why do you have to sit right there? No, 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 no. No. And there's a fan blowing it. <laughs> it cut off. Hey, John, welcome in. You love that clip? Is that your favorite? Jubo, can you do me a favor and shout out Phil and Phoebe as well? Please. Well, I enjoy my hard seltzer. Hey, I'm so bougie now. How many did you say? 20? Thank you, Jibo. Yeah. Oh no. It's a sunny day. And I'll need you to read Chad for me too, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Dax just said. He, Jack said he loved. It's my embarrassing tour of golf with Phil. Thanks, Jibbo. I think that's everyone for now. That was a really fast clip. I don't even know. I didn't even see it. <laughs> the golf incident. I did my best, okay? I did my very best, but Phil is just too good. Jeremy, welcome in. Hi, Daniel. Welcome in as well. Could we get a, sh a, sh a shout out for both of these folks, please? Thank you, Phil. Thanks, Jibo. Hopefully it queues up properly. Uh, <laughs> I would strongly... Okay, good, good. Play the game! Let's go! There's a part of me that's very much considering retiring the clips, but I also have a lot of fun with the clips, so... But they can be a little disruptive. But I also really like them, so I'm torn on that one. Since I figured out how to do this pop-up shout out as well. That's also very nice and clean, but it's not nearly as fun. Just so you don't like you. That's not that's not what I'm trying to say, Jibo. <laughs> how are y'all doing? How's everybody doing tonight? Thank you for all coming in, by the way. Even though I'm really late tonight. I'm really annoyed at this. Thing I have in my chin. It always shows up here when I eat food that I shouldn't be eating. So it's like a warning. Don't do that anymore. We can factor in the pros and cons. I try to shout out when you're not in the middle of something. Oh, thank you, Phil. I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't think Jabo puts as much thought into his shout outs, but <laughs> I love you, Jabo. And you didn't notice how I pointed at it. It's so annoying. I can't help but be annoyed by it because it's sore. It just stares at me in the mirror. Uh. We're gonna play some Zelda tonight, don't worry. I'm just, since you're all here, I wanted to chat with you first. Before we get started. I'll try not to be a shit. You're not, Jabo. You, you have you have a nice chaotic energy in here, so. <laughs> but I have noticed, and it's not just you, Jabo. It's just if the shoutouts come, during like a story scene or something that if people are generally trying to watch the scene they're gonna miss it so that's why i'm a little like i don't know but we'll see take another sip <laughs> this is good you all were talking about hard seltzer 
like several weeks ago so i think that's the reason i kind of told my husband when we went to the beach it's like let's pick up some hard seltzer and whatever we don't drink which was a lot we now have at home so it's a fair analysis <laughs> it's okay jbo i enjoy it but yeah i'm just i'm torn on it i like the clips but they also and you know with like earls there's a chance of blowing out people's eardrums so I'm a little torn on it. I'm like, I don't know if I want to keep it or not. I might shorten the length of the clips and turn the sound off, but to me, the clips aren't the same without the sound, so I don't know. Needing to show restraint when to shout out, folks. Maybe, maybe that's another thing, too. Because maybe what we can do, like, as for mods and for myself, is when we get to a break in the game, then we can do shout outs for people that have come in. Or I can be good about pausing the game and switching over to chatting when we get a raid or something and we can shout people out then. So, this is a good idea, Phil. You're very smart. <laughs> we can have sanctioned shout out periods. <laughs> I think I've chatted your ears off enough. Let's get back to Wind Waker. Don't shout out when Travis is trying to talk. <laughs> but, hey, I'm always, listen. but I'm always talking. <laughs> Phil, I'm always talking though. That's hard. That's a little difficult for you guys. I never stop talking. <laughs> Phil, I think that's the first time you've ever shouted me out in my channel, and that's hilarious. <laughs> you did make a funny thank you phil i appreciate it <laughs> i do this yes that's jabo's mo <laughs> it's okay jabo it's fine i'm just trying to find ways to make the stream better for everyone that's all not just for me okay so one thing I know I have to do is we need to get the deed for the house because there's another piece in there. <laughs> Phil is funny. We love Phil. Indeed. <laughs> I just realized, Phil, you know what I should do? I should make a point redemption with Sploosh with an animated GIF, and I have to find a good one, though. That can be something I add to the channel. One that actually plays a GIF on the screen. Just for you. You spoil me. You spoil me too, Phil. It's only fair. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. What are we doing here? I need to get the joy pendants. That's what I need to do. My favorite thing. Oh, wait, this is not. <laughs> Why did I walk in here? Wrong place. So, what is everyone planning for the weekend, since we're almost there? What are all your plans for this upcoming respite and work? Let's give these horrible things away. I have 36 of them. Oh, you work this weekend? Boo. <laughs> Oh, you work tomorrow and Saturday? Oh. Oh, you too, Jeremy? Oh. Hi, Avenger. I might dye my hair a fun color like pink. Oh, please do. And share your results. And you had to stay late today? Ugh. Gaming and streaming. That sounds fun. The 
like a Benedid. If I do, I totally will. I have never dyed my hair before, and unfortunately for a dark-haired Asian guy like me, it's very difficult to do that because I would have to bleach it first, especially if I want to do a light color. But it would be fun to do it one day. My coworker isn't feeling well, so instead of leaving at 4, I left at 6.45. Oh, that, well, that's nice of you to help cover, Jeremy, but still, boo. I don't have to do any internship work, but I like to get in front of it. Oh, that's good. We'll be gaming and streaming too. I need to re-dye my hair. I have never. If I can find some old pictures of me, I used to do the whole, you know, frosted tips thing. What a phase that was. But that was back in, like, literally high school. Oh, thank you, Common, for the sub. Thank you. Thank you for the eight months. How are you doing tonight, Common? You've done magenta and purple, Bran? Ooh. Those are good colors. I've never done a funky color before. Can now, so I wanted to give it a... You should do it, Venger. I am on board with that idea. Okay, where is the oasis? Private hey, oasis. Listen. It's below the Tower of the Gods. Thank you for the shout out. Just got done showering. No time. <laughs> Not the boyfriend reveal. Oh my gosh. I waited strategically for the opportunity. <laughs> Jabo Jabo's not going to do the same thing. It's okay, Phil. You can be my, um, my, I can't even think of the right word, non-chaotic mod, I guess, and Jabo can be my chaotic mod. <laughs> Honestly, you two, I'm very thankful to you two, you're definitely both my most active mods, so. I might be retiring my other mods at some point. Not anything against them, but I do need my mods to be present every now and then, so I appreciate you two a lot. Jabo has the horns while I have the halo. <laughs> I wouldn't know if you- I don't know if you have a halo, Phil. Maybe the halo was being held up by horns. Love the mod appreciation. I do appreciate my mods. Otherwise, I would have to, like, watch all of you on my own, and that would be a fantastic task. Luckily, knock on wood, knock on wood, we haven't gotten many shenanigans lately that you guys have actually had to deal with, so that's a good thing as well. Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. <laughs> that was hard for me to say. I try to be here, and I appreciate that. I'm not saying you have to be here every stream, but I definitely notice that you guys are here often, so that's all I really need. And I'm not faulting my other mods at all. I, I, I like I appreciated them when they were active, but. They just have different schedules now, and they have different priorities, so... I wouldn't want to bind them to being a mod to me, and feel like they have to be obligated, you know? That's all. Not that I want either of you to feel obligated to be here all the time, either. It's just, I, I appreciate you, so thank you. Bad taste in my mouth after that low-hanging pun. <laughs> What's this? Cash on the is this tingle again? 
Tight you been, man. I gotta tell you, you really helped me out back there at the mail center. I appreciate it. I've been trying real hard ever since then, but my postman skills are still weak. I just can't seem to hit 22 letters. I doubt I'll ever be as good as you, man. So anyway, I've been hearing all kinds of crazy tales about you, and I figured I just had to write you a letter. It sounds like you're doing some pretty amazing stuff, man. You're great. You're awesome. You're the man, man. You can probably tell that I had no idea what to write, but hey, I figured the least I could do would be to send you a letter of encouragement. So yay, man. Yay. Go, man. Go, go, go. Never give up. Never lose hope. And while I don't make much, I'm sending you the wages I've earned lately. Just doing my part. Hope it helps. I'm really sorry I had to send this COD, but I guess that's the price of fame. <laughs> okay. Although you sent me 20 rupees, so you could have just... Oh, thank you, Jeremy. I, I try my best. I'm not always very sweet. I do try my best. <laughs> if you're too hollow, just eat some crackers and have some tea. <laughs> oh my god. I had some crackers but spilled the tea. Oh my god, Phil. Ooh, bumps. You see, I had- I gave her 20 joy pendants and I still have 16 left over. So I don't understand why there's so many in chests in the game. It's very annoying. <laughs> this butler. Overflowing with joy, I know. So much joy. Please be gentle on this fine door. I love that it's a painting of his behind from the inside. So I'm in here again. I see something on the ceiling. That's probably it. Is he going to get mad if I break the, the vases? Oh, I don't like slidey block puzzles. No thank you. Oh, rats. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about why I was late today, and hopefully my husband doesn't mind, but it's just, I think it's something for you all to understand, the kind of place that we're in, in Hawaii. Um, my husband has been having a lot of depression and loneliness lately, and a lot of it stems from the fact that we don't have that many local connections here, so the reason I had him join the Discord is because I kind of wanted him to have some of the same connections that I have, you know, online. Um, but he's not very much of an online person, so he's not really, um, he doesn't like to post so much in online spaces. So I think he's just been feeling really lonely lately because of that. And um, for him it's been hard because, well, I wouldn't say it's been hard because of me, but because my community has grown and I've made so many friends lately over the past year and a half. And, you know, I'm just really, I've made so many connections. I think he's a little jealous of that, and not in a mean way, but, you know, it's hard because he's been trying to make friends, and a lot of times for him, because of his situation, that he doesn't have a job right now, he doesn't really, isn't able to go out much, it's hard for him to meet people, so it's, um, it's been hard for him, and I think I'm just... I shouldn't feel guilty, you know, I, I've been really coming into my own lately as far as figuring out who I am and what I want from life and meeting a lot of people that I, did I just walk around in a circle, that I um, connect with, so 
because he's not that much of an online, you know, he's not much of a gamer like I am for sure. But, you know, I was trying to get him to be involved with the community and stuff, but it's not really his thing. So don't uh, fault him if he doesn't post very often in there in Discord. But um, just trying to, I know, I know all of you would be excellent to him. That's why. So I'm just kind of like, I want him to have those connections, but at the same time he wants people here, which even I have a hard time finding to be honest, you know, so it's at least people with my same kind of interests and path in life, I should, I should say, so. Been feeling a lot whatever husband been feeling. Yeah, and it's a hard, it's a difficult feeling and because my husband doesn't go out much and you know, this is, you all will probably know, it's not really the best place to look sometimes on those like gay apps that are so infamous for everything, but a lot of times he does go there because it's one way you can meet people who are queer and not have to really go out, but you also know the kind of caliber of people that are on there sometimes, so it's like, they're not always the nicest or the, what is the word? They can be very shallow, and because my husband is a bigger guy, you know, sometimes it's very clear that people are just being assholes, so it's really hard for him. And um, so I've been trying to spend more time with him. You know, that's another reason I have been being a little bit more. Uh, where am I? I've been trying to spend less time in like Final Fantasy. That's not the only reason. I'm also trying to play less myself because I've been getting too overwhelmed in it. But I've been trying to just make more time with him at night and on the weekends too. That's another reason I stopped my weekend streams so that we can do more things together on the weekends. But um, and I guess don't fault him for this, but me being the only person that he hangs out with is not enough for him, right? It's it's just like he needs friends outside of me and connections and um, so it's while I can help you know I can't be the only thing that's helping so it's just a uh, that's just where he's at and so I don't think that any of you would be mean to him I don't think at all but I'm just kind of want you to understand where he's coming from and that's just where he's at mentally and his situation so um, I would love for him to meet all of you in person just like I would but right now that's just hard because we don't have the money to travel right so and a lot of people can't come to us because it's expensive to come to Hawaii so that's not anyone's fault either but you know it's it's hard so um, if any of you want to add him as a friend did I just walk around in a circle where am I if any of you want to add him in a friend in Discord and message him, you know, privately, I th I'm sure he would appreciate that. It's just, uh, don't expect him to be very responsive all the time. That's just not how he is, so. But yeah, that's just what I've been kind of talking, that's what's been going on, and just so you all know, you know. I'm trying to be transparent about that. Hi Dax, welcome, oh god. Welcome in, Dax. Hey, Thanks, Shibu. How's it going tonight? <laughs> no. Oh, God. You asshole. <laughs> that scared me. Holy crap. Hi Dex, welcome. <laughs> but yeah, that's just, that's what's been going on with him, so, you know, again, I don't expect anything, I'm just kind of trying to explain to you where he's coming from, and don't take it the wrong way if he doesn't respond quickly, because he's not much of a, he doesn't like to be, you know, on his phone all the time, so, that's just, so he's been feeling very lonely, and I think that's just where it would help him to have more gay friends that can talk to him with things. Because y'all have much more interest in games, I know that. So, and, and he's very into movies and music a lot, and he's very creative, he loves to cook. So 
I'm sure y'all will find things in common with him, but it's just, uh, like I said, he's, he wants more in-person connections. And I understand that. Like I'm more of a, I'm fine with online. Like I'm okay with connecting with y'all online. And, um, it, I, w I would love to meet you all though, for sure. One day. And I think the, but for me, I can wait, you know, I know it's not going to be right away. It's going to take a while. So, but yeah, that's, that's all like, I, he's, he's a wonderful person. I, I love him very much. He's, he's just, he has a lot of, um, I don't want to call it baggage. That sounds, that sounds like I'm, uh, being condescending, but it's, it's what it is. You know, he's had a lot of trauma in the past with other people and, um, you know, it just, and with me, I'm, I'm not, I'm not always the perfect angel that you guys see. You know, sometimes when I get upset or angry or if I'm tired, my mouth tends to do things that it shouldn't. Um, I'll say things that I shouldn't because I'm just irritated or grumpy about something. And I'm not always the best about thinking about what I say before I say it. So in, in a situation where I'm upset, as y'all can see now when I'm not and I'm in a good mood, I can talk and I think about what I'm going to say, but if I'm fired up about something or upset about something, it'll just bleh, come out. So, but yeah, so it's just, he's been through a lot and it's, it's, he's a, he's a wonderful person though. He deserves many more friends. It's just, like I said, because of his conditions, you know, his depression and anxiety makes it really difficult for him to go out and work or be a part of the community so he has to find other ways and sometimes the other ways aren't the best but they're all that's available and you know but thanks for hearing me out everyone like i just i feel like i kind of beat around the bush with that issue because i don't want to show him in a bad light but i don't you know i don't want you guys to see him that way because he is much more than his mental health right so but I feel like I finally can got that off my chest to you all. You know, that's it's, it's a good feeling. Oh, it's a Triforce Shard. Nice. So, sorry, let me catch up with your... We still love your hobby. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. You're doing the best you can. I know your husband is doing what he can, too. And I understand how difficult it is to want to branch out, whether online or off. Come out of one shell. Yeah, it's, it's hard for him. So, I'm really proud of him for taking that step and actually joining our Discord. He hasn't posted in it. But I'm glad that he gave it a shot. So even though that's not pl a place where he normally feels comfortable in, um, you know, like an online space. So that was good. I have family in Hawaii, so a trip is definitely happening. That's right, Brian. You told me that. How do I get out of here now? Oh, here. Anxiety is a bitch. And his, I think his is to the point where... gosh his is a complex set of things because i think the depression and loneliness comes from the fact that people have treated him poorly in the past because of the way he looks right and that's the sad part so i think he has this low self-image right low self-esteem at least about his physical appearance so whenever he sees people that look in his eyes better than him you know he feels less than so and un unfortunately, that's a lot of what you see in our community. You see that kind of body type praised and put up on pedestals. And it's like you have to look this way or you're not worth something. So you see all of that in everything. And then for him too, I think because he's had so much trauma from other people and from things happening, he has a very... He... And I don't know if this is also... So and maybe some of you can help me figure this out because I'm convinced that he has some form of ADHD because he has a hard time if, if you all talk to him and I don't know if Earl is here or not but when I talk to Earl I feel like I'm talking to my husband because they can be talking about one topic and then suddenly the next sentence be on a completely different topic and just be like so I'm used to hearing that, so when I talk to Earl, it's like, okay, I, I know where you're coming from, because there's probably this, in their mind, there's this thin thread that connects the topics that they see, but, you know, then, you, I have to, it's, it's, it's something to keep up with sometimes, but he has that, he also has a hard time focusing on certain topics, he works really well under pressure, 
and but yeah, he has a hard time staying on topic and focusing on the task and ADHD and PTSD have similar symptoms. Yeah, I think it's a combination of both because he certainly has post-traumatic stress disorder. He has that for sure. And I think where I'm getting frustrated is the doctors that we've been seeing haven't been good about helping as far as identifying the issues. The psychiatrist that he has now has not been able to diagnose him with anything officially because I don't know why. Like, it's just they give him antidepressants and anti-anxiety medication. They did try to give him one type of ADHD medication, but it was not good because it caused him to really go off the rails. So I think that was not a good one, but it would help if he could get a proper diagnosis. So I don't know. Like, I don't know how to go about doing that for him. I'm assuming it would have to be like a neurologist that has to test him for ADHD, right? The brain doctors. So I'm not sure. But sorry, I am reading chat. I'm just not reading it all out loud. Undiagnosed ADHD and autism. Mm, mm -hmm. My kid has PTSD, so we act like ADHD. Okay, okay. Mental health is more important. Well, yeah, the past two years especially have been crazy. So not only do we have this pandemic, you know, which is, by the way, resurging, which is lovely, but. All these other things going on in the world that I don't wish to bring up at the moment, but it's, it's been a it's been a couple years. So, any mental health clinic? I think we're gonna have to find one that's better than the doctor we have, though, because his doctor. The only reason we stay with him is because he prescribes the medication that my husband needs, but he does not do any kind of therapy, or he has not attempted to do any kind of real diagnosis. So, I. It's been frustrating that none of our doctors have any help. Like we've gone to his, our primary care physician, he's been to a neurologist, he's had seizures. So he's been to a neurologist, he's been to a psychiatrist. I can't even think of maybe three or four different psychiatrists. Five or six, I would say, different psychologists and talk therapists. And it just has never worked out. So it's, I think it's frustrating because to him, because he wants to get better, but there no one's able to diagnose him properly. And I think that's why I get frustrated when people say, go to the doctor, go make, why don't you go to the doctor, go find a new psychiatrist. Like we have, we've been to so many different doctors and therapists and different types of groups to help him out. And it's just like, I don't think they know what to do with his conditions because he has different, he has so many different things going on. So... I don't know. It's just, it's a lot. Medication is just one step. It doesn't teach you grounding. Yeah, so that's the kind of thing that I think he needs, but we haven't been able to find someone that works well with his personality and that have actually been compassionate about his issues. So I think that, and the sad thing is here too, there aren't a lot of therapists who really even understand the gay or queer experience so a lot of times the things that he talks to them about they don't understand and they kind of either probably not on purpose but they kind of talk down to him about it because they don't understand or they just completely misinterpret the needs that we have as gay people or queer people so that's another layer of complexity that makes it harder because we have not been able to find anyone that specializes in that here in Hawaii so but anyway sorry i didn't expect to go off on such a tangent but it's just the that's a lot of what sometimes frustrates me and gets me into to a place where i'm just like i get depressed because sometimes i feel like there's no answer to this so um but yeah this just it's a more detailed look than i wanted to give you all but that's that's what goes on with him and um, and sometimes it's frustrating for me too, because I want to help, but I know I can't, I can support, you know, right, but I can't fix it. So I think that's where I get frustrated sometimes and even a little impatient. I admit sometimes I get impatient, but I just, you know, I don't know. It's a lot. 
but until early 2016 I've been dealing with a lot of stuff both physically and mentally especially since it's been nearly 15 years oh I'm sorry to hear that Daniel now that I'm getting older I learn to be strong yeah and it's it's a growing process for all of us like we we go through trauma and it makes us stronger and the eventual hope is that you grow from it right but <laughs> thank you comment but thank you for I don't want to it's not a TED talk but it's just I'm trying to be transparent about it because I think it helps me and it also helps him because you folks will understand him more and I want him to be more involved I, I didn't have him involved in my streams for a while because he's not really comfortable you know like I said being in the chat room or doing things like that but um you know we talked about it and I try to I'm trying to find different ways I can involve him in what I do so um, wait, since we're here, let's let's go this way. Anyway, that was like 30 minutes of talking, so sorry about that. <laughs> Falling back on your community and chosen family is healthy. Hi, Bard. Welcome in. And yes, that's true. I'm really glad I have y'all because it gives me a group of people I can feel safe talking to about things which I never really had my whole life, so this is something new to me, which is nice. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a journey, for sure. Hi Mike, welcome in. Could someone please give Mike a shout out? And Waking the Wind has been... We've been doing a lot of talking, Mike, so... Um, not a lot of playing so far, but... We are going to start making some progress now. Oh, stop. How are you doing tonight, Mike? Last few years have been such a growing experience. I think that's why I left my job. I was learning from everything and doing things for myself. That's good, Avenger. That's good. Oh, I forgot my money's full. Oh, damn it. I shouldn't have done that. Strategically waiting. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. My stepsisters in San got dinner. Oh, that's nice. What did you have for dinner? That's a very important question for me. Oh, I don't have a piece of bait. It's going to bother me until I uncover this square, though. Steak and mashed potatoes, that sounds delicious. Okay, where's the Islet of Steel? Islet of Steel, there it is. Oops. Um, I do appreciate y'all though. Thank you for listening to my story today and my my talk. I th it's funny. I think I feel more comfortable talking to all of you, even though we're in a public forum and there's technically there could be people watching that I don't know. But I feel very comfortable sharing with you all, and um, you know supporting me and it's it's been really good so I, I do appreciate all of you guys as friends you know I, I try not to use the term community too much because that almost sounds like a twitch jargon but I consider you all friends and that's the important part so Salisbury steak mashed potatoes and cabbage that sounds delicious too oh my god resonate with feeling like you can't share some bad experiences and folk caused me to retreat into myself for a very long time. Same with me too, Bard. I still struggle with it even after finding people I know I can share with. That's my big problem too and <laughs> my husband can tell you that's I think probably one of the things about me that frustrate <laughs> frustrates him the most is that I have a hard time talking about my personal feelings about something so 
and it comes from a lot of different traumas that I've had in my life. So a lot of times I'll hold back, and that annoys him a lot. And I don't blame him because I would be annoyed too, because he should be the person I feel safe with sharing with. But sometimes I just don't, and that's not anything against him. It's more just me feeling like I shouldn't be sharing certain things. So. Thank you, Dax. I miss you, by the way. I I'm hoping you're enjoying your new work, though. I know that your work is keeping you busy, but I do miss you. Oh, it's another movie. I also like promoting people trying to get to that. Trying to get that. Thank you, Bard. We, 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 we love you. Thank you, Brad. It's hard to change those habits even with people you're really close to. Yeah. And sometimes there's a complex... Uh, wait. Can I... Why am I here again? There's complex reasons for me not wanting to share either because... Um, you know, for him, he gets anxious about a lot of things and... Even though he's told me in the past, you know, don't hold back about sharing, but... It's kind of like... I don't want to give him any more anxiety than he needs. <laughs> in your face, bird. We MP3 you too. Phil, how did I know that was coming? I was gonna make a wave, a dot wave joke, but I didn't think anyone would get it. Coda, welcome in, Coda. Hey, listen. Thank you for the shout out, Jibo. I don't know why I'm doing this the hard way. How are you doing tonight? Uh... Am I just supposed to go in here? You're doing alright? I'm doing good, Coda. I just unloaded a heck of a lot on chat, but I'm very grateful to y'all listening, so I appreciate it. Oh. Why didn't I come in here before? Please make those jokes, Travis, about wave files. <laughs> I don't understand them because I'm old. I'm old too, Jeremy, that's why I know them. Okay, this is the part that's kind of annoying. It's like, instead of giving me the, the piece, why don't I pick up money? I should go, I should go to Tingle soon. One of those things people don't understand. I don't like people being o overly worried about me because I'm a rock for a lot of people. And if I go down, I feel I'll be letting a lot of other people down. I put a lot of pressure on myself sometimes, trying to get better at it. So. Bran, that's something I struggle with too, honestly, and I'm much older than you, but I think there's, for me, a lot of times I take on too much, but in the end, what I've learned is that does not do anyone any favors, particularly the people I'm trying to help, so that's where I'm trying to do better and not shoulder so much on my own, by my own choice, right? Because a lot of times you'll put that on yourself on by your own choice, and by your own choice, you're also stressing yourself out and keeping in lots of toxic feelings. So, at least for me, I've kind of had to learn not to do that. So, you can't take care of others if you don't take. Exactly. And that's something that I've been trying to learn because if you don't take care of yourself and your own feelings about things, you will. You don't become a pretty sight after a while, so... And you can't help anyone in that state. Um, okay, so we're going to go to Needle Rock Isle. Wait, where is it, first of all? Ice Ray Isle. I wish there was a way to see... Oh, 
Oh, it's raining. Where is it? I was just there, like, not too long ago. Oh, it's right next door. You definitely need to look after yourself, too, or you'll burn out. Yeah. Burning out is not a good thing. I felt I couldn't reach out, and it was really bad for myself. And sometimes not being there for everyone and working on yourself sometimes is the best thing. Yes. And it's hard. I know it's hard to ignore... Not ignore. It's to put yourself first and not feel like you have to take care of everyone else. Because once you start falling apart, you can't help anyone when they actually need it. So... That's kind of... That's a very important lesson to learn. That I'm still learning, so... And I'm almost 40. <laughs> but as long as you're aware of that and you... You try to keep working on yourself. I'm guessing this is where I need to go? Oh, feather. I have a lot of empathetic qualities, so I need tend to try to help people more than sometimes I have energy for. But it's finding the right tools to keep your energy charged and finding the right people to help you stay charged, yes. You need other people to fill your glass as much as you fill others, because once your glass is empty, you have nothing. And sometimes you can't depend on others to fill your glass, right? Sometimes you need to fill your own cup. And most people are within that capability to do that. Oh crap, I forgot. I shouldn't be doing that. Oh, is this the one where I have to be an archer? Oh no. Oh, there's lots of pots though. My caring personality is a double-sided sword sometimes. Soldier people's needs over mine. One of those things I personally don't mind doing, but lately I'm giving myself a lot more love lately, and that's good. Oh, this is the one you have to find all the torches. My greatest tool is laughter. I will try to make light of situations and get people to laugh. Yeah, that's good. For me, the coping is always finding that moment of calm, and I can be the most calm and relaxed when I'm just playing a game by myself, and no one else is around that I need to worry about. That's when I feel the most at peace, is when I'm completely alone. I don't like being alone all the time, but it's how I recharge. So I'll just have a good book, or a some music, some lo-fi music to listen to, or, you know, a good retro game, and that's, that's how I recharge, so. In order to fill someone else's emotional needs, you gotta take care of yourself first, exactly. Hippies, make fun of hippies. <laughs> I've been trying to push myself to reach out when I need a shoulder to lean on to. Basically take your own advice. Yes, it, it, it's hard sometimes, you know. For me, it's about not wanting to burden other people, but it helps to remember that a lot of times these people want to help you. And if they can't, they should be transparent and say, you know, I can't provide that to you right now. And I do appreciate my friends who say that to me. Like, if I want to talk, but they're not in the right headspace, I would rather them be honest and tell me that, then say they are, and then something happens, right? They get triggered by something or we get upset at each other because we're not in the right space to talk, and I would rather just you be upfront with me and tell me, no, I can't, I don't have time for that right now, and that's, or I can't do it right now, and that's perfectly fine, so. Oh, there's one. I think as a friend, you have to also be transparent with your own feelings with your friends, right? And just let them know, hey, I'm not in the right headspace to talk, but check back tomorrow.
I can complain about little things and rattle off small talk, but take talking about deep things is rare. I really need to feel safe. And it's it's hard. I think I've, as I've gotten older, it's something also that... Wait, is that... That's not the only reward for this, is it? No. Just rupees? Oh. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. I have two hippies, one on my left and one on my right. <laughs> but they tend to give out because I'm a mess with my physical health. Oh my god, Jeremy. <laughs> I already did the ghost ship. I hate feeling like I'm burdening people because everyone is going through their own stuff. Yeah, well, I think that's the hard part, right? You can think that, but also remember that your friends want to help, but if they can't help you, they have to also be honest with themselves and say, you know what, I don't have the bandwidth for that now, but check back with me in a couple days, you know, something like that. So. Sidebar, I have Chicky Stream open too, and I have the same points there that I have here. <laughs> Are we talking about the same thing? Sometimes Chicky and us, Chicky and I touch on similar topics. But, um... I don't know if he realizes this, but him and I are very similar in some things. So... <laughs> Wait, was that not where I was supposed to go? Damn it. Hang on. <laughs> oh, oh! I have to sink the ships. Oh, damn it! Being by myself, as hard as it is, since I gravitate towards my friends, is one of the best ways to recharge my batteries. Other than food, <laughs> yeah, food is good too. But uh, alone time for me is the best. I love being by myself and just not having to worry about anything. Just bundle up and do my own thing and vibe. Was making my bed and now that I've made my bed, I would need to go lie in it eventually as the saying goes. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. The fox points I have here and the socks I have there are the same. I have like 120,000 socks in his channel. Which I think makes him really nervous because that means I can redeem basically anything. Unless he puts a really high cost on it, but... Do you know what they say about people who make their- uh oh, I feel a joke coming. Is it these boats? I've been watching Chicky forever, so... I have so many- oh. So many of his channel points. No, there's no joke. <laughs> Jabo. Oh, Jeremy, I'm sorry. And thank you, Jabo, for the redemption. I should have redeemed this for us earlier. We were having a campfire talk, basically. Oh, it's a gold ship. That's what it is. I'm doing better at adulting. <laughs> Thanks, Jimo. I really need a, sp a sploosh redemption. That'll be my next project. Try for a shard, hooray, okay. Um, you know what I should do actually? Let's go to Tingle's Island first. Because I have too much money. You're so quick witted, it hurts my brain, right?
Phil is very sharp on that comeback, and I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. It says you're offline on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm not using my Switch. I wish this game was on Switch. Can we manifest that, please? I was telling Jomi he needs to stream Wind Waker because almost all the games he streams somehow ends up getting ported, so... More Zelda on Switch. Yes, please. Hi, Tingle. Hi, Jomi. The Wii U or the Wii Me? <laughs> oh my god, yes, please. Yes, more Zelda on Switch, please. That fragrant, musty scent. Jomi. Oh my goodness. We need all the Zeldas on Switch. I, yes, yes. You can't read that chart in its current state, and you're gonna take all my money to do it. 398 rupees. Ugh. Yes, please. Empty my wallet. Thank you, Tingle. You must try hard, very hard to find treasure. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so the Triforce charts. Nope, nope. Okay, back to the treasure hunt. Bird's Peak Rock. Northeast of Forest Haven. Oh, it's the one place I don't have mapped. Crap. It's time I call it night. Okay. Daniel, thank you for stopping in though, I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next stream as well. I, I hope to catch one of your streams one day. I'm sorry I have never been in yet, but I will make it one day. One day. My mouth is tired already from all the talking I've been doing. But everyone say goodnight to Daniel. Okay, let's buy some... My last piece of bait that I need. Thank you. you do stream tomorrow? Bye. I have luckily had all my- I have had my- I love to say this, but I've had my calendar cleared tomorrow, so I have no meetings. I'm very excited about that. I just have a couple of projects to finish. So tomorrow should be a relatively easy day. I have to admit, I complain about it a lot, but I do like my job because my job is... So I work on a team, but we all do our own work and our projects can... Our projects sometimes involve me working with the rest of the organization, but a lot of times I can work on my own. So this week I've put a lot of work in trying to crunch and get stuff done early in the week. I tend to do that all the time because by the time Friday rolls around I kind of want to be lazy. So. I finished most of my work already this week, so tomorrow I only have a couple of things to do, and I'll be good. I'll actually be ahead of the game, so I do like that. Tomorrow makes a week to shit affiliate? Awesome! Bran, I 
I don't know where my mind is at, but for some reason that message you said, I almost thought you said I'm trying poppers, and I'm like, excuse me? I'm doing much better with it nowadays. <laughs> Good night, Daniel. Thank you for coming in. Okay. I wasn't the only one who thought that. <laughs> Apparently we're on the same wavelength, like Avenger. Typo. Yeah, I figured you meant puppers, but I read poppers. The jalapeno kind especially. <laughs> That's not the one I was thinking of, but I do love jalapeno poppers too. You know the funny thing, Jeremy? I think I think you and Jack do this a lot, but um, <laughs> and I don't I don't try to do it on purpose. But a lot of times I will explain the joke, and I you know a lot of and, the, and Jack does this to me a lot. He's like, "Yeah, that was the joke," and I'm like, "I know. I'm just ruining the punchline for you." <laughs> a raid. <laughs> I know. Doesn't it sound like the raid sound? Okay. What do I? <laughs> I love that sound. I've never even played that game, and I still love that. Stop it, controller. Jesus. Splish. Okay. Five pillars near the small island of the peak. Oh, this is not going to be fun. You can ruin me. Oh, <laughs> Jeremy. I'll DM you later. Moist. <laughs> okay, how is this going to work? slide into my DMs. I mean, I need a dungeon master. You know, um, speaking of which, I need to reply to your alt chat in the DM chat thing, or the D&D chat. I do want to organize something. I've just been completely focused on other things lately, so. You were looking for a DM in the D&D thing? I slide into it. Yes. Doing a charity walk in Boston Saturday, and I just checked the weather. Uh-oh, is it going to be storming? Wait, can I shoot these birds? Oh! Ninety-seven degrees. Oh no. Koda and Jabo are always—they're always playing around. <laughs> I wonder if I could hit this bird. Probably not. Maybe I can catch him coming around the side. Nope, he moves. Eh. Okay, let's just see if we can do it without killing that one. Okay. Well, there's only that one... I can tell you where I bury my bone. Oh my goodness. Hi Doug, welcome in. How are you doing, Callisti? Oh. Nope. 
Yes, Jeremy. Did you honestly think I wasn't going to hurry up at some point before I go to bed? I mean... There we go. Y'all are... I love y'all's energy, though. And how we can go from talking about a very... You know... Difficult topic sometimes to being, like... Horny for each other in chat again. I love it. <laughs> it all started with common. <laughs> That's my favorite activity. I do it entirely out of love. Jeremy, I would never ask you to stop doing that. <laughs> what did I do? You're good? That's good to hear. I'm doing pretty well myself tonight. I got to unload a lot into, onto chat, so... I have to keep thanking you all for listening to my babbling on about things. That really does help sometimes, though. Another Triforce chart. I am so excited. The teddy bear that spices it all up. A spicy bear, yes. Okay, another try for a shot under a belt. Uh, let's see, Stone Watcher Island. Great Fish Isle is a good warp point. Okay, let's go there. Oh, I got too excited there. Oh no, I didn't mean to jump in the water. Oh good, my boat's right here. Good. I just call him Teddy Bear. He was my tank healer in F14. <laughs> I'm slowly getting better at healing, y'all, so I'm feeling more confident in my scholar skills, and I'm also picking up more gear for him, so soon I will be more confident in queuing up as a healer, which means we will be able to go into dungeons more quickly. Stone Watcher Island. Oh, is there another gold boat here? Gold boat? No, I don't see one. I'm super glad I got my paladin to level 50 and got a major gear upgrade. Nice! Tempted to play 14 when I finish writing this book I'm working on. Doug, if you start playing, you have a whole gang of people ready to play with you, so... Please. Don't hesitate. I need a better PC. Oh yeah, you too, Mike. Like I said, if any of y'all are playing, or want to play, or are considering playing, we have a very big group of people now playing FF14, so... Okay. Take care of that nonsense. I did some glamming today. I don't quite know how to remove it. I have no idea, Avenger, sorry. If Jeremy's still here, maybe he can help you. Although I think he went to bed. Or did you, are you still here, Jeremy? 
bum, 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 bum. Oh, we can lift this now. Is this just another Trifish chart? I bet it is. Oh no, it's not. I'm not too worried, I'm sure it's easy. Yeah, I've never done it yet, so I have no idea how to do it. Oh. Ugh, these guys are annoying. Ouch. It was fairly easy to apply. Mm. Ah, okay. I guess we have to clear all of these. I wonder if I can just... Oh. <laughs> Picks their guard. I don't like those dudes. Alright. Last one? I love these guys in this game so much. They're so cool looking. This was a little bit harder than the others, but... Oops. Oh, it's just a shard. Thank goodness. It's closing in at 1am. Okay, Mike, thank you for coming in. I hope you have a good sleep. Everyone say goodnight to Mike. If you are going to sleep. You can also stay, but, you know. I don't want you to be sleep deprived. Good night, Mike. 
Dealt with that. Overlook Island. Northeastern corner. Ow! Bitch! I am not doing anything, literally. How dare you? I'm still not getting into Glamour yet, uh, Jeremy, because I did play a little bit on lunch today, and I got some new equipment from the story, and it looks completely different now, so I'm just like, I'm not gonna do any kind of Glamour until way later, I think. What I really want to do is get some swimsuit looking stuff and glamour that onto my armor so I can just walk around in a swimsuit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can make a tiger speedo? Oh my god. I think that would look really good on my, my guy. Yeah, close range combat, bitch. Oh, they get confused if I'm this close. They like shoot off in the distance. That's a good way to work it. Oh god. Expensive because of the item it needs? Oh. Please say I can reach it from here. My friend George has this harness and made me one. It's part of the- oh. Oh my god, did it auto-crack? LOL for you. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. There we go. You posted an FF channel? Thank you. Hmm, is that it? Is that the hole we're looking for? Oh, I assume so. Oh, it's another place like this. Oh boy. Ugh, not these things. It's not a full harness, but it's close. That's cool. I'll take a look after this. Ugh, I don't like those things. Oh god. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that thing detonated really quick.
Oh, the bomb did destroy him. Well, his body, at least. This is still fairly tedious. It's definitely much better than it was in the GameCube version. The GameCube version was horrible doing this quest, but this still takes quite a bit of time because you have to go to all these different places, which thankfully I'm using a guide for, and you also have to decipher the charts. Oh god. So it's a lot of walking around and back and forth. Ow, bitch. Oh my god, so many enemies. This game is very generous with the drops, though. That's nice. That was a little too suspicious. More joy pendants. Scary dudes. I wonder if I can get around the back with this. <laughs> that kind of worked. Thank you. Jeez. Okay, hopefully this is just another Triforce piece. Ah. 
Okay, good. Doing the fun part of the game, I see. Christianity, welcome in. Also loving the new to me overlay. Thank you. How are you doing? J Bo or Phil, I don't know if you're still here, but if you are, please give Oceanity a shout out. If not, I will do it. <laughs> Definitely getting better. I am glad to hear that. I'm probably not doing any of your randomizer playthroughs justice, but we're just playing the regular regular old Wind Waker today, but it's been a lot of fun. Except for this part of the game, but you know. We make it work. Would you want to wear a lei in a game? I mean, yeah, that would be cool. Oh, in like Final Fantasy? Okay, I don't think my mods are present. Hey, listen. Did they at least nerf the ridiculous rupee grinding? Not really. I mean, they kind of did because there's less charts you have to do now. But you still have to pay Tingle lots of money. Next thing you know, kids are gonna be torrenting spaghetti. Is this the chest? I think this is the chest I was looking for. Oh yeah, Jeremy? I would like to know how to do it. Then I could, like, show myself off as a, a Hawaii person. <laughs> Something at least, yeah. It's definitely less, because the good thing about it now is a lot of what used to just be the charts the actual piece is there, so it kind of cuts down on all of that getting the chart, getting it identified, going back and forth, so that's nice. I think this is where I'm going. I think. If none of y'all have interacted with Oceanity yet, she is a very good friend of mine and she also did all the emotes in my channel. And she helped me out with a lot of stuff when I was getting started out streaming, so... You have her to thank or blame for my existence, whatever you want to look at it. <laughs> She's an amazing person and streamer, so... Still, you three, take your time, Oceanity. I know you're having a you were having a rough time of it. So, when you are ready, I will be excited to receive whatever you work on. <laughs> Travis is a snack. Hi, Brussel. Welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Okay, I guess that's not where I need to go. Because uh, there's nothing there. I'm starting to feel like I can draw again. That's good. That's good to hear. That's exciting. Wait, do I want to do this? Oh, this is the savage. Uh, oh, I need to go in there. Okay. I need to go in there. At least down to floor 30, it says. Did you see that Twitch added what tried Twitch added to the emotes? I'm again drunk. <laughs> welcome in <laughs> welcome in drunk. <laughs> Trying not to be a problem. You're always welcome here, Tony. When you log in again, you have some mail waiting for you. Thank you, Jeremy. You can actually set artist accounts on them? Oh really? I will do that as soon as I finish the stream, Oceanity.
Okay, this is not where we need to be, I think. You could have set a tag for them to in chat. Oh, that's cool. I definitely would like to give you credit, like directly for them. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for here. Oh, here. There's a tree up there. You can tag for them to in chat, let people who know their artist is. Artists even get a cute little easel badge. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know about this change. It's weird for Twitch to add something that isn't awful. <laughs> but I really like that feature. If you go to emotes, click on one you currently have in the bottom right corner. Oh, okay. That's cool. Thank you both. I will definitely do that. I finished this a few months ago. Such a great game. The, the Wii U version is worth I do love the Wii U version, yes. The best part is you have to approve that you're the artist even if it's emotes on your own channel. Oh, okay. So you'll get a ping then when I put your name there. Cool, I will do it. I will do it right after this, for sure. Bedtime? Okay, Common. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping in. Everyone say good night to Common. Oh, fairies. Oh, I can't believe I have to go through this. Okay, well, the golden shard you seek awaits, so we gotta do it. That's really cool. Thank you for letting me know, everyone. I have to go down pretty far though, it seems. 30 levels. Click on mine and see- oh, hold on. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool, that's awesome. That really supports the artists that are on Twitch making emotes. That's... I love that. I'm also thinking I had another artist do some emotes for me that I switched off of before, but... Because I have follower emote slots too now, I might put those back up there as well. And give her credit for that also. Twisted it just out of left field too. Hmm. And if they do it on commission, it really gives them a chance to make more. Yeah. I always want artists to make more. I didn't hear about them talking about supporting artists. Hmm. It would be nice if they kind of talked about it more, but... <laughs> It's good that they did it, though. I like that. <laughs> Shibu. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. So that's really great.
Ugh, I hate these things. The way he grunts is me when I'm hungry. <laughs> Having iced coffee in your honor. <laughs> our, ice, our iced coffee king over here. So I think I'm not going to stream my full three hours tonight, but what I want to do is finish the Triforce quest, and then I think the next time, honestly, will be the last stream for this, so. And depending on my mood after work tomorrow, it may be tomorrow night. And we can finish off Wind Waker. Ice Coffee King, yes. Or whatever you want your title to be. Emperor of Ice Coffee. Alexander popped in today and said he could make me some iced coffee emotes. <laughs> you need that. It should just be a, a emote of you like happily sipping some iced coffee or something. That'd be very cute. <laughs> How dare you cancel my move. I, I always say this, but I think the one minor complaint I have about this game besides this quest is the combat is a little bit... Um, I feel like the combat could be a little smoother. Not that this game is difficult or anything. It's not super difficult, but the combat feels a little clunky sometimes compared to other Zelda games. But again, very minor complaint. Pours coffee on chest. <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get Bran excited, Jibu. Working on some mercy designs tomorrow. Oh, one of them is going to be Hello, I'm an Express Show. <laughs> With a cute little ice coffee, thing, ice coffee thing. That's cute. Sometimes the combat can take just take ages too. Yes. The enemies have invincibility frames in this game, so... <laughs> it's not a huge deal because the combat isn't very difficult, but at the same time it makes it feel, you know, clunky. Not as smooth. typo. <laughs> so that typo I didn't catch because I full on thought you were talking about Mercy like from Overwatch. Oh, plants. Link sure screams a lot. I'm trying to think now which Zelda game I feel like has the best combat in it. I mean, I think the one that rises to the top is Breath of the Wild, obviously, but um, of all the other traditional Zelda games, I'm not sure which one feels the best to me.
Because Breath of the Wild had lots of fun combat, you know, but... I'm thinking between Ocarina of Time and Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess. I'm not sure which one... Zelda 2. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Zelda 2 is rough. Go to bed yourself. Early morning ahead of me, have yourselves a wonderful evening. Thank you, Phil, for being an awesome mod again. You have a good night, okay? Everyone say good night to Phil. Breath of the Wild has really good combat. Yeah, it's 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 definitely an outlier because it's not a traditional Zelda game. But the combat is very good because it's it was built that way. Oh, I really want to play Breath of the Wild again. I, my goal this year is to save up some money on the side, buy myself a new copy of Breath of the Wild, and I'm going to stream it because I don't know when we're going to get Breath of the Wild 2, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be this year. Pretty sure. So... Well, I don't know. Maybe it will be. Maybe they'll surprise us, but I don't think so. Um, it might have been delayed officially. I don't remember. But I want to stream that before the sequel comes out, so. And I know that's going to be a long haul of a game, but I want to do it. It'll be fun. It'll be just an ongoing game on the channel. Only complaint I have for Breath of the Wild is that there could be more dungeons. That's true. I like the little shrines and everything, but um, I think my biggest disappointment with it was the Divine Beasts, sadly. I was not a huge fan of those. Like, they were okay, but to me they felt a little tedious and a little bit confusing, so I didn't really care for them that much. Also, my gamepad is being a jerk. How far down am I now? Jeez. Could have been epic so much map, so little headache. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh, no. Not my favorite enemies. But it had, you know, Breath of the Wild had some really good moments too, so. One of my favorite things was just walking around, gathering things, exploring, you know, cooking. Oh. Ugh. But they're two fans. <laughs> That's true, they are birds, Oceanity. <laughs> they are birds. So the regular ones aren't too bad, but the ones that summon other monsters, oh my gosh, I, I don't like those. <laughs> they're not my favorite. Hey, bitch. How dare you. You must depart. Okay, thank you, Jeremy. Thank you for hanging out. Everyone say goodnight to Jeremy, to Mr. Mister.
<laughs> screaming the whole time. Oh. Oh no. Bad idea. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> they tricked me. It was so tempting to do the spin attack on those pots and it was... It was a trap. I think I can just shoot these, right? Yeah. You know, it was supposed to storm and rain really hard over the past couple of days. I'm very disappointed that the rain did not show up. Uh oh. I'm mostly disappointed because it's very hot and humid because of the storm front that's blocking the wind, but... No rain to come along. Oh no. Jabo, you love that emote, don't you? It's a really cute one. Does that say Rage, Bran? <laughs> a Raging Togepi? I love that spin attack, it's ridiculous. Rage. <laughs> Angry Togepi. It's cute. Thank you for showing up. Is Sask here? Or is that his emote? It is. Oh, there it is. Yay. We don't have to go any further. And max on our rupees again. Can I just leave now? Yay. Okay, we did it. Now let's go sweep up those last couple of pieces and then you're good. Okay, let's go to Tingle. Mr. Tingle. Oh god. Damn it. No. <laughs> Thanks, Shibo. I have so many sounds from Zelda.
Okay, Mr. Boat. Nope, wrong one. Let's head over to Jomi Island. Really, shark, don't you dare. <laughs> I actually really like the carvings on this thing. Oh, you guys are working at night, too. You're not here to play? No, I am here to give you some money. Did I give them all already? Goodbye, Mr. Furry. No, I guess I did. Oh, there's only three? Oh, wow. I'm looking at the comparison here. So there's... In the GameCube version, there are eight Triforce charts, which means every single one was a Triforce chart plus having to go find the shard. But in this one, there's only three. Sweet. That makes this much easier. Oh, I think there's a great fish isle right here next to me. Oh, well, whatever. We'll be lazy. That is a great change. That's that's so nice. Although I guess I was worried about saving up all these rupees for nothing, but... So is this just like finding any other treasure? Is there going to be a beam of light? Yes, there is. Retirement fund. <laughs> The one thing I'm really impressed with, with this version, is the positional audio is so good for the chest under the water. It's very easy to find them using the, the sound. Okay, the next one is at Stone Watcher. Oh, right to the south. Oh god, where is it? Probably have to deal with these boats first. Oh, there it's over there. Okay. Yeah, definitely gonna have to deal with the boats first. At least this one.
Can you not boat? Oh, I completely lost where the thing was. I'm gonna have to zoom back out again. Yay, just one more. Okay, and let's go over to Force Haven. This really is so much better. It's still tedious having to look around, and if I wasn't using a guide, and you know, we'd have to find them all on our own, but it's still quite a bit of doing to get this all of the pieces. But it's okay, we did it. It's a big accomplishment for the night. And next time we will finish this game off, so possibly tomorrow. My Friday streams have been kind of iffy, you know. Depends how I'm feeling. It's the end of the week, and I'm just kind of sometimes I'm just like, Bleh, I just don't want to do anything. But if I'm feeling up to it, we will finish Windmaker tomorrow, and that way we can focus on um, there. Where's the island? We can focus on Super Mario 64, finishing that, and also start a new game, which I think will be an RPG because it's been a little while, and an old one at that. Uh, where is the? There it is. There is a shark right there. Yay. Gotta take off for the night, but glad I caught some of the stream. Thank you, Oceanity. Thank you for stopping in. I'm glad to hear you're doing better. And I hope to see you around soon. But everyone say goodnight to Oceanity. Have a good night, sweetie. I must make for Hyrule quickly. Congrats on the triumphs for thank you. The worst part is over. Oh. There we go. Okay, let me, let's just, let's get off here. Let me save. I'm gonna save twice, just because. Okay, yay. That was fun. We got a good amount of things done today. Which is good. We can finish this game off tomorrow now. Woohoo! It's taken it's taken ten episodes, but we are almost done. That's exciting. Okay, let me see who is streaming now. I'm guessing Chicky is still streaming. But thank you everyone for being here tonight. Is he playing The Legend of Zelda? <gasps> really? Link to the Past? Oh my god. That's amazing. Well, this is a perfect transition because we're jumping from one Zelda game to another. But I did want to thank all of you again. I don't. I think most of you folks went to sleep, but I do want to thank you all for being here tonight, letting me share some more personal things about me and my husband and my life that sometimes I just need to get off my chest and it helps to talk about it. And you folks will understand us a little bit better now, which is good. 
tomorrow this weekend i don't know i might end up streaming this weekend too because it's kind of a quiet weekend for us but we'll see tomorrow night i'm going to try and stream we'll see if we can finish up one waker tomorrow and just get it done and then we'll start on a new game soon too so we'll have another game in rotation and i won't be playing any ff14 tonight sorry uh eorzeans but I think maybe either tomorrow night or possibly on the weekend I'll be playing if you want to hang out and do stuff then. But I think other than that, that's all I had. Again, thank you everyone for hanging out. We're going to start the raid to Chicky, who is playing Link to the Pass, one of my absolute favorite Zelda games. Here is the raid messages for you all. The first one is for subs, and the second one is if you're not subbed. So either way, you'll have a message. But thank you all again. Have a good night. I'll see you again very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye.